Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So I don't know what I named the title of this video, but we have two ESCs that I really want you guys to see here. So recently I've switched over to 6S ESC noise testing, where previously we were only doing 4S. So now everything from today on forward is 6S noise testing. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to test two ESCs that really stuck out. One, not that long ago, which was the T-Motor F55 amp uh, mini. So this, is, this hasn't been released just yet. It'll be out in a couple days. And also the best budget ESC, which I was saying back then, which is the Mamba F50 BL Heli S without a heatsink. The BL Heli S, which is the cheapest one, which is around 41 bucks. I'll have those linked down below. Make sure you check those out. It was really do support the channel, by the way, guys. And this took quite a lot of testing and setting up to get right. So before we get into these results, a word from our sponsor. PCBWay is one of the leading PCB manufacturers out there, and it is the manufacturer I use for my products. Now, if you're either a hobbyist and or looking to create a final product, PCBWay is going to be a really great choice with their 24 hour and also assembly services. So go ahead and check the links down below. The first graph up here is the T-Motor. Now this is the latest T-Motor, which is a 20 by 20 with full-sized FETs, and it is actually the one that I would recommend on 6S setup. Not just recommend, it is by far what seems to be the best 6S ESC, 20 by 20, in terms of noise and performance I have ever seen uh, in a 20 by 20 ESC. This is, this is the first time where I truly fully recommend a 20 by 20 for a high load 6S setup, which is insane. And the thing weighs 15 grams. And not only that, let's look at the results here. So here you could just, just I just put this here just for you to see real quick, but this is where it really matters right here. So this is 25.2 volt base voltage because it's a 6S. And if we look at the voltage spike here, this is insane, 26.8. So it only jumped, how much is that? 1.6 volts. 1.6 volts on a voltage a voltage spike on a 6s setup is insane not just for a 20 by 20 even a 30 by 30 that is that is like a two millisecond latency in terms of camera reviews so that's really good now if you move down to the voltage drop 14.8 uh power delivery this is still too early in that area but obviously you do see the motor just go just just you see that voltage drop just go crazy down. Uh, it's, it's a lot of power delivery right there, but we know it's not due to noise because it's a very clean signal. Look at how thin those lines are. Now, I remember when I tested this exact one in this test, the voltage spike on a 4S was like 0.8 volts maybe or one volt or something from the base voltage here. So what I'm trying to say is this is an absolute beast of ESC once it's available, like insane ESC for a 20 by 20. Now, Let's move this one to the side. Again, those will be linked down below here. I just want to show you something else. Also, hopefully I'm recording. All right, so I'm just going to bring these up and we're going to hide those right now. Okay, so now what are we looking at? Okay, yeah, these are it. And we're just going to erase this because this is the T motor. All right, so what is this here? <clears throat> what is this result to be exact? So this is the Mamba F50 BL Heli S, the cheapest one without a heatsink, which is this one. I'll have it linked down below. It's a Beale Heli S. Filtration, gorgeous. I've tested this on a 6S, which I haven't done before because I've recently set up my testing equipment to run 6S noise testing, basically. And let's look at this. So what we see here is this is this is the really interesting thing about the, the Mamba F50 is this part right here. This part you could kind of hear. It's not oscillation, but it's like like very minute and I can hear it with the propellers now how will this affect your your performance not by much really but we can see it's very minute but it is there now does this really affect your flying does this really affect your overall performance no it does not because I've had stuff way worse than this and I've given it to a couple friends and and, and they said it's absolutely perfect so these things you would never really notice inside your quad cockpit unless it's very extreme and I've even had worse stuff than that before. So this right here is acceptable, but is this a slight anomaly? Maybe it could be due to the dead time, maybe slightly off or slightly too big. And that is a video for another day, which I'll be getting a very noisy ESD, playing with the dead times or the firmware, showing you what I'm actually doing and see if we can improve the noise somewhat. 
and maybe we could even possibly get it to desync, but that's for another day. So let's look at this result here. So again, we're at 25.2 volts, which is six, that's voltage. This is the base voltage here. And we can see that from 50% to 75%, there is no increase. And again, this does have the low ESR capacitor installed. And to be exact, it was a 25 volt 470 microfarad. Uh, comparable to the T motor, even though the T motors had a 35 volt, doesn't really matter that much, but that's just out there for you to know. Now, if we look at the voltage spike, especially on a simulated aggressive flight maneuver in this area right here, we had a highest voltage of 25.8 volts, which is also insane. And it is to be expected, especially when the board has this much filtration and has a low ESR capacitor. And that's a good thing, especially when it's $41. Also, this will probably perform better than some other 6S ESCs that cost 60 bucks plus. It's not the best, but it's up there. I would consider this to be in the top five, this Mamba right here. So price doesn't always mean quality, especially with these electronics here. Because in reality, in the back end, they kind of pretty much all cost around the same price, really. It's all about the research and development and what the company wants to charge because of its name. So it, it, it you know, price isn't everything, Usually, especially with, like, e with ESCs and flight controllers, actually. Flight controllers are all just copy paste of each other, really. So what am I trying to say here? Well, what I'm trying to tell you is that the T-Motor 20x20 is by far the best 6S ESC or the lightest 6S ESC that could handle pretty substantial load, which is insane. That is a huge, huge thing. And it is slightly outperforming the F50 as well, which is also really great. Now the F50 variant here of the Mumba, uh, if you were going to purchase one, now if you're on a budget, the $41 uh, one, which is the cheapest one that we tested here is absolutely fine. But maybe you might want to go into a BL Holly 32. So you can have uh, RPM filtering enabled automatically basically through the firmware, instead of having going flashing some custom firmware on your BL Holly 32. You could easily do that as well. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. And I really hope I did help someone uh, make a choice or have an educated purchase. That's the whole idea of my videos. That's why I try to uh, test them and give data instead of just oh, how they feel because how they feel isn't really everything because uh, these numbers are, I think, more important in my opinion. Not to many, but they do give us a clear insight of how well these have been engineered. And everything is linked down below. If you could check them out, that'd be super awesome. I do have a 7% coupon link down below you could use on any RC related products that are not on sale. So keep that in mind. And this is not on sale. So you can get this very cheap right now, 7% off. So yeah, check the links down below. There's a great support channel. Come join my Patreon. I do a ton of giveaways. And I'm going to leave it at that. Peace.